And welcome back to the Archipelago, session number two. We still have uh, two games that we have not uh, revealed yet, so we're going to be starting with one of those. And some of you might remember for the Super Shuffle a couple of weeks ago, I tested out a new game. And that is because we're going to be playing that new game in the Archipelago, uh, in the Archimegalo. Um... Stream Deck is pretty neat. I have one. That's quite convenient. Um, but yes, um, press some buttons here. And we shall see. Oh, right, I didn't. Give me a second. Did I? Yeah, I did. I did during break. Of course I did. Yeah, we're playing Astalon, Te Tears of the Earth. Let's go ahead and start a new file. I do have a tracker here, but from what I understand, uh, the tracker is out of date and may not work. We are starting with Zeke. Also, I started myself with the Ascendant key, so we can just use the elevator from the start. Uh, I've also randomized the uh, keys, so we'll see what happens. I've also uh, added the option that kind of opens up the start of the game. Mitha's piece of art. Uh, kind of, yeah. It's a pretty fun game. Like, I originally discovered it through uh, watching Deceased Crab. And, uh,. I gave it a try and it's, it's pretty fun. I enjoy it. I have not yet finished a run of this in Archipelago, but we'll see what happens today. Well, I say that as though I'm going to be finishing today. That is definitely not going to be the case. I'm not finishing any games today, but I did get Kewley. Uh, I want to start with Kyuli. And she does have wall kick. I don't know if she is guaranteed to start with wall kick. That is a Waddle D. That is technically a progression item. Oh, she kicked the wall with the poor wall ever do to her, and this is a mimic screw the mimics. I don't think we need to worry too much about uh, the walls getting hurt. Never seen Coolio and Deceased Crab in the same room. I can assure you I am not Deceased Crab.
Because you see, deceased crab has been popular, and also let that popularity get to his head for a while. I have never been popular. <laughs> If I had really wanted to, by the way, I could also uh, randomize the button effects. So like the button, instead of doing something, would be a check. Nope, oh, don't have the golden eye. How did the crab become deceased? Were they boiled? I don't know. That's something that you would have to ask him. You've never given disease for money. I don't know that he's ever asked for money. Like, I don't think Deceased Crab even has a ba uh, Patreon. Oh, I need the, the Red Gorgon Eye to continue here. I did not think about that. I guess we're going back. Full DD from Dexter's Laboratory on the buttons. What does this button do? Parents' death got in my way. But yeah, I am. I've only played this a couple of times in Rando, so um, I'm not. I, I don't have the the logic for this. Uh, internalized in any way. So this might be a little bit of stumbling. I could technically get that check over there. But one, it's not currently in logic, and two, it doesn't look important. If it was important, it would be a blue circle. Internalized logic is for the Vulcans. Clearly is a paint can. I mean, it could be a paint can. Who knows? 
We will find out at some point. Now that one is important. And it's a treasure bumper. I think this is a kill room. I think it only gives orbs, but uh, I'm definitely use the money. Yeah, sure enough. Man, they are busy tonight. Am I ever glad I decided to have Sari bot in my channel? It's another Waddle D. It's definitely something that I would recommend to uh, the streamers. I don't know if uh, I don't know how, like, if Seribot is still available to uh, new channels. Now, but uh, if it is. Oh dang it. I was trying to get that uh, that eyeball thing there. But at least I can just get back here. And this is tricky. It'd probably work out better if I was using Zeke, but uh Maybe I don't worry about that one for now. I can come back to it. Yeah, I'll give it one, one more try. Ah. Okay. So you see right next to Kuli right now, there's like that little statue with its glowing eyes. That's what I'm trying to hit. There we go. And that's why. And there are six of those, and uh, it'll get more obvious what they do once I get them all and then get to the, pro the proper room for it. So this... Um... I'm trying to think here, because it says like there's more stuff that's accessible. But not through here. Alright, I haven't been up here yet, duh. QV is the best one for this. Oh! Because shooting in the eye with an arrow turns out as a very effective strategy. So in vanilla, um, in order to bring back these uh, these candles, normally I would have to um, pay, for, pay for that. I do have the flag that um, 
just restores all of them when you die, so... Making up for my lack of experience of this specific game and it's rando. So here it is. So you see now four of these are lit up and that's because I've shot four of these. So you can't shoot these again. There are two more somewhere in uh, this part of the world. Oh, okay. So uh, the wall kick is upgradable to just be able to wall kick forever. Currently, I can only do it one time, and then I have to like actually fall to the to the ground, the wall kick again. Now. here. In an ideal world, I would get those after I get the orb doubler, but uh, sometimes you just want to get as many orbs as possible early on. I knew that was going to happen. If I hadn't jumped, then I probably, probably just would have just fallen into the spikes. Somebody stubs their toe, they're sent back 20 feet. Uh, five levels of Reaper, Waddle Dee, five levels of Blue Mage would put me at level 5, which is what my Blue Mage currently is at. Sand, Old Deed, Warp Shard, Old Custodon, Five Levels of Summoner, and Ten Arrows. I do have a uh, a location that I can go to for now though I'm going to just keep on going here shots for the snakes now. If 
Alright, let's see if I can not die. Now that I have full health, I should be able to not die. Ooh, got the time spinner spindle. I think will allow me present access. Okay, so I can't go up there yet because I don't have Arias. I need that sword to uh, slice up those vines. Any rupees? Get up there with Kyuli. No. Uh, if if I was able to to walk it twice, then I would be able to like do yep, yep, and then up that up to that button there, but I cannot. And to get through this, I need a rise of sword. Uh, so according to the tracker, there should be something in the room beneath this location. This room here. Oh, right. Yeah, that's for getting the um, the six glowing eyeballs. Which we only have five of currently. So I think now is when I go to the elevator. And there's a couple of checks at the apex I can get right now. Hazard bumper, okay. Ring mouth. Oh right, okay. I know which one that is. Unfortunately it doesn't really help me currently. Defeating this thing now is going to really do me any good. Oof. Ring mouth sounds like a disease. I see your point. And that gives me a gold cluster gone.
spoopy. And yeah, we're gonna need the uh... We're gonna need the Gorgonize in order to get up to uh... The very top there. I think that's about everything. Well, I'm looking at the tracker here. How did I get there? Hmm. Is there a ladder? Yeah, there we go. Hidden ladders. If you want to play this game, that's perfectly fine with me. Wow, how much health do you have? I think I should take this as a hint that I really shouldn't be here right now. There we go. Goodness. Now it says that there should be a check to the room below that I should have access to right now, but uh... No es bueno. Because I need to have like this on. I see. Let's just get out. Let's go to mechanism one. Apparently that gave me an item for all the card. Oh, this room looks friendly. So anyway, I started blasting. Oh, double kill. Nice. Yeah, I guess that this is probably a kill room. Only for orbs, but uh, I'll take it. Yikes. I think that hurt for four, so I can take one more of those and not die, as so demonstrated. What? Oh, that was a. That was a spike floor, and I wasn't paying attention. Ah, <clears throat> uh, what shall it be? What shall it be?
Just power up Q Elisa more. Oh gee, thanks for that warning there, Grim. Let's see what's over here. Actually, yeah, I'm already at full health. I don't know what I was expecting to happen. Oh, this looks entirely unpleasant and probably not where I'm supposed to go. Well, I found Zeke, despite the fact that I already have him in my party. Those are rude. Five levels of paladin. Uh, so I'm gonna guess that I don't have that right now. I currently have the mark of, ep of epithemius, which does me no good at the moment, and the ascendant key. So I'm just gonna tank this. I definitely would rather get hit by the uh, fireballs than the spikes. <sighs> Dead end. 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 All right, well, down we go. Ah, yes, this one confused me at first, because, like, they just have these buttons and there's that dude up top, and how do you kill him? Well, it turns out the buttons actually fire fireballs at the dude. Okay, so I can't activate that with Kyuuli. I think I need either Zeke or Algus. So I would need to come back here with Zeke. could activate that. I guess not. I guess I'll have to come back here with Olgus. But I do not have Olgus. You funny blue man. Ah yes, this dude. Supposed to be a challenge. Get out of here. We shall meet again. 
Unfortunately, I still need August to uh, activate this thing, but at least the boss has been defeated. Do I have access to anything else? Alright. Ow! Should have employed a better strategy besides walk slowly. Hi, Kanaichu! Thanks for coming by! Expect. This room stinks like animal guts. It's like this tower's alive. Okay! You're just gonna walk right by me, that's fine, I guess. That just takes me over here. And I need a white key. I may or may not be out of options. Because like one of the problems is the um the tracker that I'm using is not updated to the latest um is not updated to the latest logic. So, like, I'm seeing that there are a bunch of checks that I have access to, but I may not actually have access to any of them. So, I think the strategy right now is die, first of all. So, I can go back to, to Epithemius' shop. Then figure out if I want to buy something. Don't need the insights, let's just plot. That's a gold quest to gone, I need more of those than just the one. That's a wild D, I need more of those than just the one. Uh, Max Sin, no, I don't really need that. Go back to a save point and uh, call it good for now. So there is one game remaining that we have not seen, and that is what we're going to be playing next. And I'm going to need to configure this. I'm using a bit of a hack to play a game from the Epic Store through Steam so that my controller can work. Uh, 
Except it didn't launch? Of course it didn't. Why would things be easy? Okay, I just gotta re-log in, I guess. Because of course the Epic Store is going to be difficult. And these, uh, these captures are weird. Oh, and it's being super difficult. It's... Uh, okay, fine. I still find it super dumb that I can log into Epic through Steam. Okay, now it should run. Make sure that's coming through. And I have the correct thing loaded. All right, we're going to be playing a short hike. Uh, this is slot six. Uh, Got some sand for Lumaeus. Oh, not really. Oh, wait, there's no reception? Might be able to get some at Hawk Peak. That's all the way at the top of the island. I need to go, but I haven't got around to it yet. I do kind of like the message that this game imports. Like, with just the storyline in general. It's cute. A little inspiring. Archmouth. Buy me 15 shells! I want them! Five levels of dancer. I don't know if I've gotten uh, any levels of dancer so far. Might be my first five levels. Level D. Score bonus. Jamming out the beach, building sand, sand castles. Oh, 
I gotta get this guy a smaller shovel so that we can have the bigger shovel. Defense offering for Rune Seeker. Treasure bumper. I'm going up to Hawk Peak. The Rock Climbing Association has hundreds of members spanning over 35 countries worldwide. Hundreds of members uh, growing and refining the art of rock climbing. Pushing the crowd to its absolute living and beyond. I love it. Listen, kid. Sure, I'll join them. Just another drop in the hundreds worldwide. Whatever. The climb is easy. Real pros use the big wall. I like that. That was alright. <laughs> yeah, the, the dialogue in this game is also extremely cute. Hey, Dobby. Metal stuff. Yeah, and likewise, I've only done this, uh, I've only played through this game for Rando one time. Uh, I think I, I think that might have been also a help everyone seed, which I was not prepared to do considering the fact that I have oh time spinner gear. And that's aura. But yeah, I have not actually like played this game vanilla. <laughs> so I don't know where everyone is to help them. Uh, so I did make sure in the YAML for this that uh, the objective is nap. But just to say I need to get to the top of Hawk Peak, get the whole experience, then go back home and take a nap. That pentagram. Was, uh... Oops. That was for Alucard. I'm hoping that I can keep this game going until the end of the stream because, like, it's a chill game. And just get to run around and find all of the things. Although I might want to have the um, the tracker open. I think there is a pop tracker for this. Oh, I already had pop tracker open. Uh, short hike. Only problem is that, like, you get the entire map and all of the squares are tiny. It's hard to see. Also, like, I, I would need to have a sense of where I am on the island. Boing. Purple ore lump times six for slot seven, which I think is cross code. Let me get my... Yeah, that is cross good. Uh, 
I have one with a scholar, quake. Oh, see something shiny. There we go. I was hoping that would be one more dollar. So raining here specifically. Also, what do I have? I have a treasure map, wind feathers. I wonder what I can do with this pickaxe. Oh no! Probably can't get up there right now. Ocean flask for tunic. Coaster mouth for Kirby. We're gonna need a shovel for that, right? What do I can use this pickaxe for? I think when I played it for Super Shuffle, like, I ended up not really finding anything to use pickaxe on. Maybe I wasn't looking for it. Tower Roots Elevator. Cana Samaria. Model D. There are many Waddles D in uh, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. I have level the Black Mage. I have level the Red Mage. I'm not gonna get anywhere there. Can't break that. Adorned key for slot eight. That is Astalon, I believe. Random deathmatch. I mean, I suppose you can get into a random death match with a red mage. Five levels of Reaper! That's what I'm looking for. Really looks like Reaper is gonna be what carries me through Final Fantasy XIV. Fire key. Also, I have made a decision for Final Fantasy XIV. Unless I can't do uh, duty as uh, as unsynced, then I will do duties as unsynced. Because otherwise, it's going to take freaking forever. Got another golden feather and an HP offering for Foxy Fox. But basically any dungeons that I am able to just uh, do like a uh, solo max level run, I'm going to be doing that. That's for the sake of keeping things moving. Katana. Heard a bumper. Progressive Glove, hmm. Do you like that? 
We have gone all the way around now. So now it's time to go further inland. I just need to find a good place to do that. Three coins. Algus's shock field. It doesn't help me too much right now because I don't have Algus. It'd be nice to have something good to start off with. Bloodstone for Alucard. Ooh, memory of a distant land. If I just keep getting those, maybe I won't have to do a whole lot of Final Fantasy XIV. I need a shovel for that. That's not what I was trying to interact with, but... Uh, well, there's a thing there. Four blue mangoes for Leo. So good. Oh no. Let's do this. Aria. to get around here. Yeah. And definitely getting that additional golden feather. It's just what I needed to get up there. Can I break these? Oh, found a toy shovel. There's probably no reason to do that. I just wanted to do that. Can I get up there? Just barely. Eh. Hazard bumper. Can't get up there though. might be able to if I did that just right. Problem is I kind of ended up gripping onto the wall early there and that spent a little bit of stamina I didn't really want to spend. I'm getting there. But Ah oh, man Okay, I guess I can go around the long way. Whoops.
Yeah, I got a little turned around. It's fine. 20 rupees. Getting a little chilly up here. Five levels of monk. What if that one dude is going to, um, show up here. What's your deal? Running is my life. Running marathons are all around the world. I don't think we've been here. Fish are biting today. So, uh, it's fishing hard. Nope. Oh, it's easy. Yep, that was definitely your spare rod. right yep oh. live fish is nibbling Did a fish. This suck at baking. <laughs> He's eating pie. Hang it behind that. All the card mail. It's the armor that looks like the all the card mail, but is very much a fake. That basically if you go beyond this point here, eventually you'll get to a point where it's very cold. Frank for first for all the card.
but it's more than twice it, as much as the visitor center. I'll come back to you. Yes, after a certain point it starts to get very cold and your feathers will not regenerate. It uh, becomes kind of a uh, resource management game. See, that's what I'm talking about. It is now quite cold and uh, our feathers will not come back. We have to get back to where it's warmer for that to happen. There are some hot springs along the way that will restore your feathers, but you need to be able to get there first. Three rare stakes for um, in slot seven is cross code, so Leah. And five sunset dues for Leah. Boss heart container for Mifa. And the lighting does not cost feathers, fortunately. And just go forever. You slightly lose all uh, altitude as you uh, glide, though, unless you can catch an updraft. Can you catch an updog? I don't know. Depends on what's up with you, dog. Chest there. It's a holy rod for Alucard. Get on the bridge, Claire. Claire, please. I mean, if you if you want to meet there and just turn around for a second, I'm like right here, I'm going. It's right here. Look, I'm, I'm I made it. That chunk of rock over there looks like something that I might be able to hit with my pickaxe. Yeah, it definitely looks like something that I should be able to hit with my pickaxe. I don't know what to tell you. That's disappointing.
still need a shovel for that. What's your deal? Hmm. I do have a few of those. I just need to find the visitor center. Where is that? This way. Oh! I got this shovel I found. That's not a shovel, that's that's a hazard bumper. For slot 10, it's all the card. And this must be the visitor center. I'll see so. One hat left, costs a hundred coins. I'll grab it later. Turquoise for slot 10. Brahms Whiplash for slot 8. Oh no. We've talked to that boy who bought all of the golden feathers. I guess I can buy that hat then. Arias's Gorgon Slayer. Uh, Arias. I think that's actually Owen oh, Oshawa. Uh, you're the guy who told us about all of the metal stuff in the ground everywhere. Like, for instance, right here. We don't have a shovel. Uh, where am I? Well, looks like the sea. I'm looking at the, um... Now, let me put this over here so I can actually see it. It's the one bad thing about the, the map and like the tracker map is um if you're not very familiar with the game it can be a little hard to figure out where you are. There's a little pond here. Is there a bridge nearby? I don't think there is. Oh, then I'm at, I must be at that pond then. Maybe? Yeah, where is the visitor center? <laughs> Let's have a point on the cliff. Okay. I found where I am. And also there is a hidden chest somewhere around here. There's a Waddle Dee. Should be another one over here. So something about visitor camp, rock, golden feather. Oh. Five levels of dancer. There's a little cave here. The way forward is blocked. Let's 
go in there. Pickaxe blazing. No. Another one, some magic wand for a tunic. Oh, the magic wand, that magic wand. Oh, I definitely wanted that. time and just lost my watch. Sorry. It's very expensive and priceless when you consider the sentimental value. Find that you can bring back to me? Please don't sell it on the internet or whatever. It's very valuable. I mean if we don't get any cell phone reception, we probably wouldn't be able to get on the internet anyway. find some checks if I go this way. Oh, oh there's one. 25 coins. I've talked to you, right? Whoa, that's pretty cool. Okay, uh, not really. I'm supposed to run a marathon race today, but I've lost my lucky headband. Born into every race I've ever run. Hi. I don't know if I could race without it. Why'd you lose it? Somewhere in Blackwood Forest, I think. I'll take a look for you. Really? You do that for me? Sure. It's a red headband. I can give you a reward. I can give you a pair of running shoes. How should you need those for yourself? Well, I just got sponsored by the shoe company. You need like 10 bears. Wow, congrats. Oh, <laughs> thanks. But uh, if you see a red headband. I don't understand why I can't hit this with my pickaxe. But it definitely looked like there was like it was like gleaming. At least from Maybe it was imagining things. I don't know. Okay. Hello. Player! Did you know? A while running. Where was that? I don't know. <laughs> There's a little sister, perhaps? Where am I now? Yes, I think I'm here. I 
Can't climb the house. Can do that though. But there's nothing close enough for me to climb to. Oh, thanks, camera. <laughs> Make it from here. I do wish that there was like a compass type of thing that I could that would like point to the nearest treasure. I'd even appreciate just a compass that tells me where north is, which I think this game has. North is up. I see a treasure over here. The gold quest gone. Hmm. Right now there's a whole lot of checks that are kind of on like little islets around the the main isle. It's just a matter of finding where those are. Oh, here we go. Hey, Julie. I play games all day. You look excited. Hey, I've got the net set up. Are you two, are you two gonna play volleyball? Volleyball? Yeah. We invented our own game. That'd be the next best, the next best thing. Claire, formally challenge you to a game of beach stick ball. Ooh, means you have to play. It's the law. Oh no. Okay. So, three simple rules. Rule number one, hit the ball with your stick. Rule number two, don't let it hit the ground. I mean, for the most part, Julia's a rough, so it's all up to her. It's all up to me. Rule number three, believe in yourself. That's the most important rule. That's pretty much it. You ready? The answer is no. You need to equip your stick first. Oh no. Do I have a stick? I don't have a stick. No. I want to stand on this rock. I mean, I think, I, I think the uh, the pickaxe would probably puncture the ball. That is not the goal of beach stick ball. You don't want to puncture the ball. Uh. 
Hundred coins. I have to get back to you on that one. You're dying of boredom. Oh no. It's a very serious problem. Anything I can do? You're not allowed. You have to wait until you're older. Guess what? I'm older now. That's five minutes ago. Hashtag worst dad ever. So we're gonna need to rent that boat and let uh, let our friend ride along. Old Clustagon. Wow, that's three of them today. I'm very happy that I have Saribot. I don't know if it's still the same way, but uh, pretty easy to include Sorry Bob in your channel if you are so inclined. And just go to Sorry Bot's channel and uh, follow the instructions. That's the outer bound. Oh, okay. Collect some pieces of trash. Clean up the island. Do a good job. I mean if you if you really want to spend the time and ban them yourself, I guess that's also an option. That's not cool. That's no good. There's a little more. There we go. Like your sun hat. That's like intense. Didn't know you could just like make a hat. Unfortunately, I don't have a hundred a hundred coins. I don't know if the coins are dollars or cents or like what they are. Camel, please. Personally, I, I do appreciate uh, any uh, ad bots dealt with as expediently as possible.
And I should be on that island. That's correct. I have a lot of D. Ooh, progressive ice. I think that's level 2 ice. Of course, I don't have the ability to augment my abilities just yet, but uh, when I do, I'll be able to boost up my ice. Oh no! Ah oh, man, just barely not getting there. Yeah, that's not any better. So there should be two more checks on this island. That's that one. Secret Island Treehouse Chest. Was there just a, a chest in the treehouse that I just completely ignored? <sighs> oh yeah, there it is. That's a miso soup. Oh, and there's the other chest there. Another waddle D. Back to Hot Peak Island. There should be another two checks of this way. Ah, uh, those kinds of days. Maybe. Oh! Just the thing for it. Take this. Star coins. Yeah, this guy would give us a compass, but um, it's a randomizer, so of course we're going to get something different. It's just star coins, or five levels of dancer. Now there should be a check somewhere around here. It's this one. Sand Castle Golden Feather. Also, running a hotly contested election for mayor. Oh. Lining him up. Third place? What? I built this city on rock and roll. I got a seat on the city council, though. I guess that's something. Maybe I have to like leave and come back and then there will be um, some progress on the on the town there. Um. 
Okay, so there should be something over here, I think. Hi! My name is Avery! I'm a parkour racing master! Sure. Okay, so here's the rules. This one to touch a lighthouse door wins. Also, only use three golden feathers during the race. That's all I have on me right now. Uh, let's just let's just go. I don't know if this is the correct path, it definitely doesn't feel like it. Yeah, I think I've lost this. There's a chest there. Ooh, space jump! I may not have won the race, but I definitely got something good. I just need to find the, uh, the lighthouse. <laughs> Use a space jump to win the race. If only. Oh, chest. Star coins. Actually, how do the star coins work? Like, I'm not actually receiving star coins for those checks because it's a manual. So how does it work? Maybe it's like, I need to, re to like receive the star coins and that puts more checks in logic or something? I can overtake these nerds. Okay, I've gotten lost again. <laughs> Uh, where's the lighthouse? Hey, this is where I wish I had the radio. It's like there, there is a radio that you can use to contact Avery. And so like if I get lost or anything, I can just radio Avery and be like, hey, can we start over? And be like, sure.
I don't know why it's raining in like this specific spot of the island. Oh. Hey. Look at that. I had to open that from the other side. I finally found a use for the pickaxe. Now we're sold out. So it goes. Now there's still like a decent number of checks left. It's just that this game is hard to navigate. And also considering what time it is, like I don't really want to get into another game. My goal was to um, get into the last five games that we hadn't gotten into yet, and uh, I have done that at this point. Now I just need to find... The lighthouse? Where is it? This Avery has been waiting for me for like... like five, ten minutes. See, this is definitely glowing. Hey, Keen, how you doing? Ten arrows. From Mifa. Sworn I found something else interactive here. Maybe not. I wish that the um, the marker for the lighthouse would actually just stay on, even if you lost the race. It could actually find your way over there. I get up there. And then building to the west. Also, I should only use five rolling feathers, I don't have five. There we go. I've, I have found Avery again. 
even if it wasn't for the same race. So close. Oh, nearly forgot. Five levels of Reaper. You ever get lost during the race? Just call upon your void scent. There we go. Hey. Okay. I have to admit, you are good. I feel like I just was just getting warmed up. I might not be able to do this rematch though. some time there. Oh, it just made it. You got me beat. I think I need this. Dim sunset. Where'd you get this? Yeah, my ways. Anyway, next time we race, I'll be sure to use what I learned from you. And doing another rematch is not going to give me another item. Should be a couple of more checks here, actually. Oh, what's this? Ladder near temple. It's one of the, the ladders for uh, for tunic. Oh man! If I had a little extra height. There we go. That's for arrows. Uh, there's a check here. Headband gift. I don't have the headband. should be around here.
Yeah, I don't know where it is. If I go over here, I think there's got to be another check. I think what it is is I gotta, I might have to actually be at Outlook Point when that uh, dog jogger is there, possibly, possibly, nothing can possibly go wrong, except that's the first thing that's ever gone wrong. Yeah, so here I am at Outlook Point. And there's a chest called Outlook Point Dog Gift. Which I can only interpret as meaning that dog that does runs up and down over to Outlook Point needs to actually be at Outlook Point when I get there. Hmm. I don't know what to do other than wait, and I don't really want to do that. Instead, I'm going to go over here. There's possibly a check nearby. Where is this? And it might be around here. So actually, I might have to go back. Oh, the tough bird salesman. Do I have... how many monies do I have? I have 61. So yeah, I don't have enough money. I can't make that check. I can't write that check. I can't bend these bars. Oof. Over here though. And this Galaxy Berry for slot 7. Now uh, which one is slot 7? Crosscode. I made I made myself at least uh, a good chunk of uh, script that is reading the um, the server log from uh, the archipelago server as like interpreting which slots mean which games. Can't break these cuffs. Oh yeah. This uh there's been some development here. Whoa, this city is really growing. Now this isn't a sand city anymore, this is a sand province. This time, I'm running for premier in the provincial elections. I wasn't elected as mayor, but this time, I'm really doubling down on outreach. I'm promoting policies I really think will resonate with my key districts. 
Once I'm elected, I'll be able to use my provincial influence to finally exert control over the city that shunned me. Yeah. <laughs> oh. First le legislation I'll pass will exist to consolidate my allies in Parliament. The second legislation, free candy for all. <laughs> so, how's the campaign going? Super good. I'm just gonna steal this memory of a distant land. I hope that's okay. Has a couple of more checks like spread out here and there, but I think that's probably gonna be good for now. And uh, in fact, I think that's gonna be good for today's stream. It is a cute game, like. It's something to kind of chill and like talk to everyone and it's just cute text all around. I love it. Uh, uh let me go check if Arborelia is still streaming because I did notice that she had started streaming. If so we'll go uh we'll go hang out with her. Let's see, Ray Channel. Yeah, she's been going for about an hour. Uh, she's doing Mystery Mystery, which is um, this a collection of randomizers that she kind of has in a directory and like picks out one at a time. And it looks like she's playing uh, Link to the Past right now. So we're going to go and check that out. So thank you all for watching. Thanks for putting up with uh, the technical difficulties we had uh, Benny Zero, uh, Duxy, I think that was a bot, uh, Grim, KG Golem, J Pop, uh, more bots, um, Seribot, Jewel, Keen, and Elia. The next scheduled stream is going to be on um, Sunday at 8 p.m. or later. Atlantic Daylight Time is going to be a Sunday Super Shuffle. More random shenanigans. And that takes us around the week, around the wheel to our next um, Archimegalo stream next Tuesday at 8, uh, at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. And um, we'll see where the road takes us. There's still a lot to go. Uh, so let's get that raid started. Alrighty. That's going to do it. Thank you all for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.